Hello people, it is my Travel Thursdays video. So I'm gonna tell you guys, it is crazy in Germany with the heat wave. Almost 100 degrees since I got here. Two days ago, already two days and I'm dying. It is absolutely ridiculous at his apartment because I shouldn't even mention that there's no ventilation there, but it's more like he lives in an apartment building that's on the top floor, so right under the roof, and it's just so hot. You walk down the stairs to the second floor, to the first floor, you can totally feel the difference in how hot it is. Outside is so much more bearable than inside his apartment. So as you can tell, I am not at his apartment. No, I didn't leave him at the apartment. He just went back there, I think about 30 minutes ago because I forgot my camera wire that hooks up to the laptop so I can do some editing here. So he actually went back, but there's a lot of stuff that we forgot at the apartment. So he's gonna come back, but we. We are at a hotel right now and that hotel does have air and there's a vent up there so that's really cool here we go that is the temperature in celsius it's like 96 right now i'll just do a hotel tour because it's been so hot at his apartment we actually spent two nights there and it was a mistake because i don't know about you guys and if you've ever been that hot in your life before where it is so suffocating that all the circulation in your body basically if i put my arm arm down like this or stand, my feet and my hands and my entire arm actually, they just hurt. Painful, like needles. I, I feel like I was getting the crap beaten out of me. So yeah, that was just a really bad thing. I had to get out of there. I'm really upset with myself that I waited this long, like another night to stay at a hotel because I was just worried about editing my video. I'm actually a week behind. Every time I travel, I just so happen to not have any videos ready to go up for that week or next week or something, just to have everything prepared. I work so hard at home, but once I wait for him to visit me before we go back to Germany, uh, I can't get anything done. But anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a tour. It's not the nicest hotel. We've had quite a few things that we didn't like already, but I just really wanted a hotel that has air conditioning. So right when you walk in, it's a little hallway here. You have a full length mirror here. Just took a shower by the way. You walk in and there are two beds. Now guys, I am so not used to having like two separate beds pushed together like this. I just find it really interesting. Over here we have a wardrobe. I already put some of our stuff here. We're staying here for like six days and it's only because the heat wave is gonna last until Sunday. Today is Tuesday. I have all my stuff here. This is the bathroom here. Their whole theme is like white and green, so that's pretty nice. Set everything up here. They do have a hair dryer. I actually had to ask for a big and a small towel, but they only had big ones. I think we only had a big one when we were in here. This is a complete freaking mess. Okay, so basically you can close this door all the way, but on the inside, there's no handle here. So we actually took a shower with it opened a little bit. Like there was a tiny freaking gap. We had to take the drain cover off so that it would go in there because it flooded like freaking mad. I mean, do you see how shallow this thing is? But it's a nice shower. It definitely doesn't take that much to warm up or to cool down on like his apartment, which sucks. This is like a three-in-one product that they have here, which is so interesting. Like to get it out, like to dispense a product, you have to squeeze it. This plastic bag dispenser is so weird because I have no idea what these are for. We thought they were garbage bags, but they're not. It's a really small bag. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with European stuff, the big button is for poop and the small button is for pee. Oh, and another full length mirror. I love all these mirrors. I love them when places have like tons of mirrors. And then over here is like the workstation. I put my shoes under here. It's pretty nice. We only packed carry-ons and his backpack. His backpack is for school too, but it just comes in handy since we had to bring the laptop. So I'm editing some videos now. Well, I can't right now because I don't have my camera wire. We went out for dinner, so I brought some stuff back. I just had a banana. This is gonna stink overnight, but at least it's not like super sweaty in here. A TV here. These are the curtains. And then here's our view of the train station. So the train station is right here. 
There's a McDonald's right here. I could actually take you guys around with me tomorrow if we do anything. Let me show you guys. These two freaking chipped. Oh, and this freaking chipped over here. I bought a new nail polish from Target. Cruelty free, non-toxic, and that crap chips so freaking easily. I paid $11 for like this tiny bottle, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but he has to go to school. I think I'm just gonna stay back here and rest. I have mosquito bites on my neck. I'm gonna rest my feet, I'm gonna rest my arms, and I'm gonna edit my videos and probably film for next week too. You know, okay, let me just get real with you here. I am not going to label any of my videos with American and Germany anymore because I just hated every single comment that was so stupid on any of my American and Germany videos. I don't put up these videos for people to voice their opinions on the wrong things that I do in Germany. You should just make it a life goal to mind your own damn business and don't do that to anybody else either. Like I was talking to Julian about this. Americans don't give one flying crap about what you do when you travel to America. Cause guess what? Tourists bring the money. I don't know why anybody would make comments about the stupid things or the wrong things or whatever things that they do in their country because it is a complete turn off. All those comments that I got on those videos were actually enough for me to like not like coming here and vlogging. It's already bad enough that there are no ACs in a lot of places here and I cannot live without AC, okay? Global warming is a problem and I think more people should have ACs. And let me tell you, having ACs is not the worst thing in the freaking world to have because it's always been hot and people have always had ACs. Don't blame people for trying to survive in like the three hottest months, three months of the year. Anyways, I'm not gonna go into that because I'm probably just gonna have some people think like, well, you don't need an AC. It's like, that's why global warming exists in the first place, which it doesn't, by the way. It's just a whole bunch of other factors. Yeah, I agree. America's crazy with the AC. We've been spoiled with that, but that's just why I just can't live without the AC. I'm not about to give that stuff up. End my rant there. So I'm gonna end tonight here, and then I will probably add a little bit to this vlog, just so this video isn't gonna be like just a rant and a hotel tour. Unless you guys like that, then. Prepare for another one next month. So it's the next day at the hotel. I actually just finished editing a video. It's my packing video. We only slept for about three hours because we had a really late dinner. It was McDonald's and he had to go to school and he woke me up, so that was nice. I've been up since 7.30 and it is currently 2.25 in the afternoon. Look how bright it is. I didn't record it last night. In the daytime with the sun, it's really bright, but at night they have their neon hotel sign and it just like lights up the whole freaking place. It's so hard to sleep. Not much going on today. He's taking a nap. If I take a nap now, I for sure won't be able to sleep tonight, but I am enjoying a cup of coffee from camps and a smoothie from Fruiters. It's a green smoothie, it has spinach and mango, as far as he remembers. He also got me a turkey sandwich for breakfast. Here, let me show you something. See that thing right there? That's a spider I just killed, and it was a pretty sizable spider. It just crawled up here out of nowhere. I will not be touching that light switch. We didn't ask for room service. I literally just spent like the whole day here. I mean, I don't know, the whole half day here, and probably not gonna ask for it at all today. You know what's so funny? I was telling him before that I was was looking forward to having AC and then I started freezing my ass off so I had to put it down. Oh, let me show you because this vlog is super random anyway. I repainted my nails. You can see the difference between this polish and this polish. I had to take this one off too because it chipped and then I redid this one. I asked him to go to a drugstore and pick up the closest shade to this one and this was the only one there that I wanted that was closest to this shade from Essence. This took like how many coats? Five coats or something to even be this opaque. I'll probably just vlog tonight and end this vlog like that. So it'll be a two night vlog. It's been kind of weird being here. We were talking about it very briefly before that because we hooked up the laptop to the TV, HDMI stuff. We have a bunch of food here. We have our clothes and stuff here. It feels like we literally just moved. I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. Today is actually the hottest day of the week, I wanna say. So I don't know if I'm gonna go out. Did I tell you? Yes. 
yesterday we went out to dinner and it was so freaking hot in there everyone else was sitting outside and we were wondering why they were doing that because it's so freaking hot no one they smoke two i guess they just like being out there and three it's a hell of a lot cooler outside than in a restaurant i don't think i'm gonna do that i think i'm always gonna sacrifice myself and sweat while i eat which is the worst thing but i i hate bugs i don't want to be around smokers and have you ever heard of skin cancer like I'm not gonna sit out there. Guess I'll just see you guys a little later for dinner. So we're having dinner right now. We're gonna watch the do-over on Netflix. We're having Hatoki again. If you haven't watched that video where I show what we eat in a week, I'll link that in the description box. I don't remember if we talked about that place. Probably not because they don't deliver. This is like a Vietnamese place and it's so good. I have tofu summer rolls here and you dip it in this delicious fish sauce. I have pho here with beef and he got a chicken wok dish. So there's rice, there's chicken, a whole bunch of vegetables, which he will not eat, I swear to God, uh -huh. and a little side salad. I ended up not going out at all today because I had a lot of problems with editing my video. Well, not a lot of problems. The upload speed here is actually pretty good. The Wi-Fi is pretty fast too. I spent the whole day editing a video last week, so it was fine because it was really hot today, right? He went out to attend a Pokemon Go event. We just took a shower, I have a mask on. You're not supposed to do anything with your face when have a mask on but i'm really hungry and clearly i broke out all over the place because my whole body is trying to get used to having air conditioning i'm gonna end this video asking you guys a question is the sun out or is the sun down the sun is down it's four o'clock in the morning it's not sunrise that is what i was telling you guys before about the huge sign outside for the hotel that's literally how bright it is every single night it's really hard to sleep with that and it's even crazier when it's super bright outside when the sun is already up. Subscribe to see more videos like this. If you're curious as to what I got up to when I was in Germany last time, I will link my last vlog in the description box or you can catch it in my end screen.